morning, morning. everybody. Good morning, Shabby. <clears throat> so today is Holy Thursday already. Today we are celebrating two big feasts. Yeah, two big feasts. Do we know? Do we know what these feasts are? Huh? Do we know what these feasts are today? Uh, Monday, Thursday, huh? Uh, uh, the last supper. Oh, no. The last supper? No. Um, the priest. Uh, the last supper happened today, yes. We, we commemorate the last supper today. But what feasts were instituted today in the church? Priesthood and celebration. Very good, the Sophia. Mass. The priesthood and? Celebration of the Mass. Eucharist. Which is centered on? The Eucharist. Eh? The Holy Eucharist. So today in the church, we commemorate and we celebrate two very big institutions. The institution of the Holy Eucharist and the institution of the priesthood. Which actually come together. That's why they were instituted together. right? Without the priesthood, we would have no Eucharist. And without the Eucharist, there's no sense in the priesthood. Okay, so on, on this day, today, um, Jesus Christ, in celebrating his last supper on earth with his disciples, he gave to us the biggest gift, the biggest gift that he um, left to us on this earth, um, which are all, of course, all tied up to the salvific mission that Jesus Christ um, came on earth for, which we are going to commemorate tomorrow, Good Friday, right? And that is the salvation of mankind, which happened by um, Jesus Christ offering his own life uh, for us by dying on the cross. But even prior to that ultimate sacrifice that Jesus um, um, offered for us he gave us this very unique and special gift which is the gift of himself being preserved present in our tabernacles all throughout the world by the um, by the uh, act of uh, commemorating in an unbloody manner the sacrifice that he performed on Calvary. And that unbloody reenactment, so to speak, the unbloody uh, uh, commemoration of that sacrifice happens on the altar at every Mass that every priest celebrates okay so today today we commemorate that now i think one of the um, things that are important for us to understand about the institution of the eucharist is the fact that the eucharist is not a symbol it is not just just a symbol of jesus christ okay but it is the real body, blood, soul, and divinity of Jesus Christ himself. Okay. Now, what is that process again? In the catechism, we are taught, what is that process that, that enables uh, that, that um, bread and wine on the altar to be made into the body, blood, soul, and divinity of Jesus Christ. What is that? Transubstantiation. Eh? Okay. Transubstantiation. Transubstantiation. Let us not forget that very important term. Transubstantiation. Okay? Trans means change. <clears throat> A change of substance occurs at every Mass during the consecration of the bread and wine. So while the species, 
of bread and wine remain, okay, what are the species of bread and wine? What do we mean by that? What do we mean by this species? It means the material. The material. The material. The, the, the raw material that appears to us to be like bread and wine. Still, right? It retains the, the, uh, the appearance of bread and wine. It retains the taste of bread and wine. It retains the texture of bread and wine. But the substance in it, what it is in reality, is no longer bread and wine. The substance has changed. Okay? And the substance has changed into the body, blood, soul, and divinity of Jesus Christ. So that is the most uh, uh, the central miracle that happens at every Mass. That changing of the, of the species, or rather of the uh, substance of the species of bread and wine into the body, blood, soul, and divinity of Jesus Christ. And it is the whole Christ, right? It is the whole being of Jesus Christ, God and man, in that bread and wine. Okay? So that is what the Holy Eucharist is all about. And that happens at Mass. Okay? God, Jesus gave the power to His apostles and to the successors of the apostles the power to do exactly that miracle at every Mass. And that is why the, uh, the privilege that the priests have is just so awesome. The privilege of performing that miracle, offering that sacrifice, the unbloody sacrifice of Christ on Calvary, and offering uh, um, that sacrifice on Calvary at Mass every day, at every Mass they say, and in the process, performing that miracle of giving us the Eucharist at every Mass. So today, let's give a lot of thanks to God for these two institutions to which uh, we commemorate today. Let's go. Today's a very big feast, really, a big feast in the church. And we have to give a lot of thanks to God for it. Okay. And uh, and uh, understanding this, understanding these two big uh, mysteries, the priesthood and the Eucharist, helps us, will help us to understand the magnitude of tomorrow's commemoration. When we witness our Lord offering himself to us on the cross, okay. it will acquire a deeper and more significant meaning for us. If we understand the, the, the unity between today's feasts and tomorrow's commemoration. Okay? So as we go off to Mass, let us give big, big thanks to God for all of this. And let's remember also to pray for our priests. Pray for our priests. They are doing a difficult job, especially in this day and age. A difficult job we have to pray for our priests and today is a very very nice day to pray for all of them for their sanctity that they be more like Jesus Christ that they emulate the example of Jesus Christ and be um, be a victim at the same time a um, uh, 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 be an offering of themselves to others and that is not an easy task but with the grace of God, they, they can do it. And God has called them to do it. So let us hope they live up to that calling um, that Jesus Christ has offered to them. And let us help them by our kind uh, charity, beginning with prayer. And also help them by uh, the little things that we can, uh, we can do for them. Okay? That's it for us, folks. We're off to Mass. We hope, we hope you continue uh, having a very holy and blessed holy week. Okay? You had a question, Joe? No? Bye! Okay. Bye-bye.